Welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be doing another Sony Vegas tutorial. So before I've done a beginner's tutorial, I've showed you how to edit like some of the famous YouTubers, and I've also done a tutorial on vlogs, but I've yet to make a Sony Vegas tutorial on gaming videos, so that is what we're going to be doing today. Usually you're going to have the gameplay and the webcam and they're both going to be the same length. In this case, I'm not editing an actual video, I just took my last video and a clip from a video I edited for my boy Raymond. You should go check out his channel. But normally what you would want to do is you would want to start both of your recordings and then do a big clap so you can sync up your game audio, your microphone audio, and your camera. All you have to do is drag them in the timeline and then drag one up, one down just so you can fit it there. And then like this you can sync up the two audios. Pretend this right here was my clap. I would just sync it up like that and then the rest of it would be synced up. Basically, what clapping does is it's just a spike that you can clearly see, and it's a spike for all audio sources. So you get that spike perfect next to each other, and your audio will be perfectly synced up. Once you get it in the right position, you're going to want to hold control while you highlight everything, and then press G to group it all together, and as you can see, it moves as a whole now. After that, you're going to want to click Event Pan Crop. And then you can go and uncheck size about center and lock aspect ratio, and then you can kind of shrink it down to the size that you want it to be. After that, you're going to want to go over to the video track that your webcam is on, and you want to go into track motion. Just expand that. And then basically all you have to do is grab the corner and you can kind of move it in any which direction you want. Yo. Sup. Now I'm going to show you how to do a shake effect, which is in a lot of gaming videos, and I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. So one way is to go into event pan crop right here, check size about center and lock aspect ratio again, and then zoom in a bit. And then on the timeline here, you can just create a bunch of points and keep on doing that. After you do a few, you can just copy them and just paste. But as you can see, it does a little shake there. But the better way, and the easier way, is to get a plugin called Sapphire Plugins. And then after that, it will have something called S underscore shake, which you can just then drag onto it. And you can just load one of their presets that they have. We're gonna crash and then we crash are my favorite ones. I don't know why they're called that, but those are my favorite ones. And as you can see, it's a way cleaner zoom and it's just better overall. Now I'm going to show you how to do the funny face effect where it does things. So the one that makes it better is called Sphere Eyes. So you want to go into Video Effects and just search for Sphere Eyes right there. And you can just throw it on and goddamn is he looking beautiful. You can also go to Pinch slash Punch and that will do the same thing. A punch will bring it out. And if you put a pinch, it'll bring it in and do that funny effect. Now I'm going to teach you how to put reverb or like an echo onto the voice because it makes it funny. So you just go into the audio, you cut the portion and click the FX right there. And then it should be pretty easy to find reverb. Just click add, OK, and you can adjust it a little bit here. I like to go for the rich hall and then just bring the middle reverb out up a little bit. Gave me what, you just gave me a jackhammer. And as you can see, that's a little echo right there. And it just adds for a comedic effect sometimes, and I don't know, I like using it. Now I'm going to teach you how to do subtitles, which I don't use that often. I use them sometimes when, like, it could be funny. Some people do subtitles for their entire videos. I don't know how they do that. It would be a pain. Just go into Media Generator, and you can either scroll down all the way to the bottom or just search for titles and text. And just drag the default right in there. And then after that, you just pretty much have to resize it and uh, do every word. You also want to put it on a different track as your webcam or else it will do that and it will go in the corner. I don't know why I just pointed. So that took like, I don't know, not too long, only like a minute to do that portion right there. But this is what it looks like. I can jackhammer people. It's just basic captions. And the last thing I'm going to teach you is how to do a zoom. You just cut the portion that you want to zoom in, click the event pan crop, and you just got to do that. Now it's zoomed. Say you want it to be a slower zoom or a faster zoom, but you don't want it just to happen immediately. What you have to do is you just go down to the timeline right there and you just make a point like right near the beginning and then zoom in on that point and then make sure the last one is just the regular box. And if it's not, you just got to right click restore and it'll go back to normal. So this is what it looks like now. Time I do it, I'm going to say prepare to get jacked. So that looks a little cleaner and you should probably 
do that when you do zooms instead. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it helped you learn something. I know I've kind of taught some of these things in the past, but I like doing videos on different subjects so I can kind of just throw it all together in a package and you don't have to watch all my videos. And if you're looking for one thing, you can just go and find that. And hopefully that's what multiple tutorials helps with. With that being said, if there's any other types of tutorials you'd want me to do, let me know in the comments below. Whether it be Sony Vegas or Photoshop or whatever. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And besides that, I will see you in my next video. Bye!